Hi everybody, it's Miss Lori again, and thanks for joining me and listening. Today, we are going to have a little reading test to start out. Now, don't be afraid, you can have someone help you if you don't know how to read yet, but it should be pretty easy. I'm gonna hold up a word here. Can everybody see the word? M-O-M, -M. spells what? Mom, yes, mom. Now watch, I'm gonna just turn this word over. So really the shapes of the letters are all still the exact same, but we're looking at it from a different angle, a different way. So now it looks like W-O-W. -W. And what does that spell? Wow, yes, the word wow. So our Bible story today, our, the verses are from Mark chapter 9, verses 2 through 9. And it's going to show a time when the disciples were able to see Jesus in a different way, a new and different way, kind of like the way that word switched on us. So it was a time when it was Peter, James, and John, and they headed with Jesus up to the top of the mountain. They were going up there to pray. And when they got to the top of the mountain, this incredible thing happened. Um, Jesus suddenly became very bright. His clothes were white. His face was shining. It was just kind of like he was just a ball of light, maybe, is a way to describe it. But he was just so bright. And then they saw Moses and Elijah, which were prophets from the past that had been dead now a long time. And they were there with Jesus. And the disciples were a little bit frightened, as you can expect, and just surprised and confused. And then when all this was happening, a cloud surrounded them. And they heard the voice of God in that cloud. And it said, this is my son whom I have chosen. Listen to him. So of course, that caught the disciples' attentions for sure. And they, they were listening to to this voice and realized that they were seeing Jesus in a whole different way that they really was confirmed for them. They probably believed it, but now they were sure that Jesus was the Son of God and they did need to listen to him. Um, this special story, it has a really long and kind of fancy name. It's called Transfiguration, the Transfiguration. Maybe take a minute to say that with me. Transfiguration. Transfiguration. Yeah, and this coming Sunday is called Transfiguration Sunday. Now, when something is transfigured, it changes. It changes the way it looks. It's transformed. And so just like the word that we looked at, the mom and the wow, Jesus didn't change any shape. He didn't change shape, but the disciples saw him in a new way. Just like when we flipped the word, we could see it in a new way. It's a really exciting moment. And like I said, it helps them just cement in their mind and believe that he is the Son of God and they should listen to him. So as we always, when we read these stories, we know that that means the same for us too, right? We need to believe that he is the Son of God and we need to listen to him. So let's take a minute and make sure that our ears are working, that we do even know how to listen. I'm going to make a sound with something off camera and I want you to try to guess what it is. Okay. All right. Here's the first one. You know what those are? I bet you do. Keys. They're my keys. Probably pretty good at this one. All right, this one might be a little bit harder. I'm not sure if you'll be able to get this one or not, but we'll try. Listen to this. It's a lot of little things. Can you figure that one out? I don't know if you can or not, but it's paper clips. A bunch of paper clips that I was dropping and holding. All right, we'll do a one last one that should be easier than that one. You hear something? You hear that? Yes. You probably guessed that when it's money or coins, coins that I was holding in my hand. Okay, so I'm guessing you probably did a pretty good job of that. Your, your ears are working. You're pretty good listeners. And in this message, it does talk about us listening to Jesus. But how do we do that? Because he's not right here talking to us like I'm talking to you. 
but there are ways that we can listen for Jesus. When we listen to Bible stories, when we listen to ser children's sermons like this, or when Pastor Jeff gives his sermon, when we listen to the lessons of our Sunday school teachers, when we listen to the lessons that our parents or our grandparents or other family members might tell us, when we listen to the reading of the Bible stories or when we actually read it ourselves. And you know, when we listen to Jesus, it's just like when we listen to everyone else. We need to focus just like you did with that hearing test when you were really trying to hear something. You know, sometimes we say we're listening or we look like we're listening, but in our minds, we're really not. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe your teacher's talking or your parents are talking or a friend is talking and your mind is thinking about something else? You are thinking about maybe that you're hungry and you want to eat something or, or what you want to do next or that you like their shirt or something that they're wearing, but you're not focusing on what they're saying. And when they're finished and they're looking at you and waiting for a response, you don't know what they really said or what they ask you because you weren't really listening. You weren't really paying attention. Well, real listening means that we not only hear the words that, you know, that we hear the words being spoken, but that we understand them and that we respond to them, you have to really pay attention. And when we listen to Jesus, we, we may not know what all the words mean right away, but that's part of the listening. Then we learn, we learn, we think about the stories, we, li we listen to the words, and then we think about them in our mind. And then when we know there's a lesson in there or something that he's actually taught us to do, we actually do it. We don't just act like we're listening and then go about whatever else we were doing it at the time. We really pay attention, we listen, and then we act. You know, God thought it was so important that the disciples really understood who Jesus was and that they should listen to him because God was speaking through Jesus. He transformed that moment for them so that they would really pay attention. And we have the story to help us really pay attention. God still thinks it's important for us to listen, to understand that Jesus is his son, and that through him, he will teach us how to live. Let's say a prayer together. I'll say a little bit, and you can repeat it after me. Dear God, thank you for sending us your son, Jesus. Help us to listen to his words and to pay attention to the examples he gives us of how you want us to live. Amen. Thank you for really listening today. And the good part about this, if you didn't really listen, you can play the video again sometime. Have a great week. Bye-bye.